I was wondering about uh, cinema from Quebec, and I thought for almost 25 years, the issues of sexuality have hardly been dealt with in cinema of Quebec. Um, usually, it's rather a frontal approach to sexuality. Um, there is not a lot of, there are not a lot of nude scenes in our cinema. And I was wondering, why is this that I'm struggling to come up with films from Quebec showing sexuality in another way? Uh, it's not that I wanted to do a sex film from Quebec, um, and I don't want my film to be seen as a revolution or anything, but it was like a spark at the beginning. It was kind of this desire to provoke a little bit, uh, to um, also do a, a film about uh, sexuality. Nymphomania was a term I've been interested in. How has this term changed over um, the years before Freud, after Freud? Um, and nymphomania is a term you use but how in the various periods of time. Uh, but this term doesn't really mean a lot. It's a syn synonym for mi misogyny. These are men who are not able to understand women, to understand their minds. And um, then uh, nymphomania was used as a term instead, and it's a male judgment about women. Again, you don't make a film like that with certitude. I still don't know what I, I tried some things. I'm not saying I'm talking about women in general. It's not a film to understand women. And I'm not saying that I understand women the same way that we don't say that Ingmar Bergman understands women. It's not about understanding. It's about sensations, vibrations. It's about human beings more than about male versus female, you know? Because if I write that and I'm stubborn and I'm being just a man, male gaze will come and at the end it's just another film made by a guy filming his desires. A lot of these films are made by old men and they're trying to film their a sexual life they don't have in real life. They film their desire on screen. And for this film, I'm sorry, I don't need to film something I don't have in my private life. I don't need to film pornography. I think we are two clicks away from watching pornography. It's very easy, so why would I do it in my film? Why would I use my job as a filmmaker to undress actresses? I can just go home and I know how to undress a woman, believe me, okay? I know where to find it. I don't need to do that with my actresses. <laughs> so that's how the process became clearer and much more not about provocation or whatever. So, yeah, I talk too much. It's your turn. What I was moved about was that it was so delicate, so fine. It was such an intelligent script. And the issues might seem provocative, uh, well, but this is not what it is about. It's about human issues. And this is why I think um, it wasn't difficult to accept the project. I would like to add something onto this. The first time when I saw the film, I thought, well, it's rather an anti-pornographic film. It is about sexuality, and we know that there's so much pornogra pornography in society, but really, um, it's about uh, intimacy, etc. On in everyday life, we don't uh, need to do this. So we, um, um, it's about this dictatorship of transparency, and I think. Um, this uh, film shows a certain reality. Well, when I saw the script for the first time, I realized, yes, it is also about sexuality, but it's more about the feelings amongst the women and their personalities. Um, and it's nothing that was being instrumental, uh, instrumentalized. Um, um, it is really, sexuality is just part and parcel of their lives. Uh, it is just one aspect. But it is not that this is the direct focus of the film. Personally, it's very hard for me to think um, locally. I have a hard time with that. I, I'm not 
Not that I don't have anything to say about the place I live, but I'm more interested in human beings than about politics or sociology, or I don't have a special message to give you about Canada or Quebec, and I don't have that politics inside me. So my geography, my territory is human beings. And I think this new film, it can talk to somebody from Africa, Australia, or Chile. I'm pretty sure I'm talking to everybody, so it makes it more universal. But I don't think that's a formula. A lot of people say, oh, you're a festival guy. You're always in these festivals. It's true. But it doesn't mean I'm making the films for festival. That's a concept that doesn't exist, you know? So, and I'm always happy to come back here. I don't know if it was in your question. It's my seventh time. And Berlinale is a bit like putting my old slippers. And I'm so comfortable here. I know everybody, my marks and launching a film at Berlinal is very okay, you know, if you see what I mean. It's not like a, a village in Slovenia, it's Berlinal, you know.